Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have got to know that is uh, what is the mechanism of an acidic buffer solution as well as what is the mechanism of a basic buffer solution and how they resist the change in their pH values. So now when I'm talking about the acidic buffer solution as well as the basic buffer solution, they will have a certain pH value and that can't be changed even though by adding strong base or a strong acid. So what is the actual pH value of that particular uh, acidic buffer solution? Uh, so let us talk about it in this lecture. So now we are going to uh, represent the uh, that is pH value for the particular acidic buffer solution basically commonly known as that is Henderson Hasselbalch equation for the acidic buffer solution. So this equation uh, gives us a uh, idea that is what would be the pH value of that particular acidic buffer solution. So let us derive this expression and uh, that is what I want to talk about in this uh, topic. So starting with the first one that is acidic buffer solution obviously we have got to know that is acidic buffer solution is the one which consists of that is a weak acid I will talk it again that is it will consist of a weak acid along with that of uh, that is a soluble salt of weak acid which consists of a strong base and uh, this is how what we are going to represent about so suppose if I am talking about a uh, weak acid and that is suppose like HA if it is a weak acid that it won't dissociate completely and that's the reason that we could see that uh, this will dissociate into H plus and A minus but it will not be a complete dissociation it will be a only small amount or small fraction of the uh, HA it will be dissociated into that is H plus as well as A minus as well as this has the capability to again shift back to its uh, the original one that is HA so therefore the equilibrium has been uh, maintained in this case so and in this case suppose if we are adding a soluble sort of weak uh, acid and in this case suppose if I am talking about like BA and suppose if it is a soluble sort of uh, the weak acid so therefore it will dissociate into basically that is B plus along with that of that is A minus. So what if I observe that is the dissociation of the HA will be suppressed because of the common ion effect as I could see over here that is A minus and that's the reason that we could see that the HA won't be dissociated completely and that's the reason that it is uh, it, it has a weak acid in it so that is what we have to uh, that is calculate that what would be the pH value of uh, that acidic uh, buffer solution and that is what we are going to talk about so starting with the first one that is uh, this equation as we could see or this uh, uh, transition where HA is been converted into H plus as well as A minus so since it is a weak acid we could calculate uh, or we could give an expression for the distribution constant for the weak acid and that would be written as Ka which is equals to the product of or it is the ratio of the product of uh, the active mass of the product that is H plus ion along with that of uh, the A minus ion and uh, the electrolyte or I could say like the acid weak acid it was basically HA and now the thing is we could also express it in this form that is uh, H plus ion it will be equal to that of Ka which is equals to HA concentration of HA divided by that is A minus. So talking about this concentration of A minus this A minus will be for the concentration of uh, this one also that is uh, if a soluble sort of weak acid is being dissociated. So suppose if this is a strong uh, uh, that is if it is a strong letter and if it dissociates completely then we could observe that uh, that A minus is also having will have the same concentration that of the soluble salt. So that is the reason that we could instead of that is A minus we could say it is a uh, salt it is a concentration of the salt. So that is the reason I could uh, make it in general form that is this H plus is equals to Ka into this is the acid that we have might it would be a weak acid so acid it is what we have divided by the concentration of salt. So this equation can be written in this form by multiplying that is a minus log on both the sides so I could write it in this way also so therefore what I am doing is that is applying so first of all let me write it in this way that is applying log on both the side. So therefore I could write it the above equation that is this equation that I was talking about in this format that is log of H plus which is equals to 
that is log of ka plus I have write it in this form that is uh, log of uh, acid to the concentration of salt this is how we can we could write and uh, so the next thing that we have to do is that is multiply minus 1 on both the side so if it happens then this will be converted into that is minus log of concentration of h plus ion which is equals to minus log of that is ka and uh, minus into plus that is minus and that will be log of that is acid divided by that of the concentration of salt but talking about uh, this value that is minus log of h plus ion if you remember this is nothing but ph and this minus log of uh, dissolution constant for weak acid can be written as pka while this can be if if we have to write it in this way so therefore even though we can write it in this way or else we could write plus log salt concentration of salt divided by acid so therefore i could write it in this way also that is concentration of salt divided by concentration of acid so this is the equation that we have And this gives the idea that how can we calculate the pH value of that particular buffer solution. If we know the dissolution constant of that particular uh, weak acid along with the concentration of the salt that we have that, that is present in the buffer solution and we know and as we know that is the pH value of the uh, buffer solution can be adjusted by adding the soluble salt in it and that's the reason why by changing the proportion of the weak acid as well as the salt. So suppose in that case we have known the uh, that is uh, the concentration of the salt that is been present in the solution as well as we know the concentration of the acid that has been present in the solution so this is how we can calculate the pH value of that particular buffer solution and this is what I was talking about henderson Hazelback equation uh, for the acidic buffer solution so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and you have got to uh, know that is how can we uh, derive this kind of expression so that's it friends so thank you for watching this video i hope you'll share this video with your friends and yes you won't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much